What is going on, everybody? Another lovely Wednesday evening for us. Well, I guess in some parts of the world. Let's get this party started, right? Uh, let me get my tunes going. Let me make sure everything's connected. Let's check the other side. Of course, it's working because I think I know how to solve that little glitch OBS has, which is fantastic. Oh, look at that. Like we got everything laid out already. I just did it. <laughs> it's not like I was uh, setting up or anything. Uh, I'm not tardy this time. Good, good, good. What's up, what's up, what's up? Everyone see me, hear me? Everything's good? Let me check the levels over here. Mic check, mic check. Everything looking good. Uh, let's see, do we have everything pinned? We do have a pinned comment. That's where you can jump in on the PLA Plus giveaway by 3D Max. Um... Yeah, everything's looking good on my t on my side. Let me know, guys. All is good. All right, cool. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, let's see if I can get back to the other YouTube stuff. Yes. All right, so let's see who's been in here. I saw Zach was way early. What's up, Zach? I don't know if you're back in or not, but Zach, Tigerflyer, what's going on? Chad's in here, milking as per usual. We got Jeff. How you doing, sir? One Eye Willie with his new icon. Uh, we got Will Marr with his new icon. Got that Q1 in there, huh? Uh, Beladzo. Beladzo so. <laughs> What's going on, man? Uh, Burn Car Print. How you doing? How you doing? Ranovic, What's up? Martin. Rodolfo. Hello. Hello. Giuseppe. Lauren. Catrum. Uh, did you get more Z on your Voron with the top hat? No. So my Voron, what do you mean? Yes, I got more space, but my Voron is a trident, so it doesn't move up and down in the Z uh, on the top. So the top hat was just for one, enclosing the machine a little bit better uh, and being able to like remove it because the stock glass on the Fisec kit was double side taped. Uh, and also to be able to stop scraping the top uh, acrylic because that was a problem on both my FISEC machines. Um, yeah. We got some, my stream elements going crazy. I don't see anything above it. 
Oh, these are renewals, I bet. Andre, you in here, buddy? I see you just became a sponsor. Thank you, everybody, who uh, who, who became a sponsor of the channel. Andre, I haven't talked to you in a minute, man. If you're in here, how you been? Uh, got to root again, installing Debian and Termux, and finally getting the use Kia. Nice. Cool, 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 man. Uh, what do you know about the Soval SV08? Uh, I just saw the same teaser as you guys. I don't, I don't really have a relationship with Soval at all. Um, but yeah, it looks interesting. It looks like they took a little bit too much from the Voron 2.4. Uh, I have a feeling, you know, they either have to release what they've done as soon as possible, or that that's going to catch some negative, uh, some negative connotations there about what Soval is up to. I mean, Soval's always been doing like open source machines, like all their machines are like based really closely to other successful open source machines. So it's not surprising they didn't make their own like printer from scratch. It's quite literally a dressed up 2.4. Um, they did that with Prusa with the, you know, SV07. They did it with the Ender series, I guess, with the SV06 and under. Uh, so it makes sense. Uh, I'm not surprised, but that's definitely going to leave a sour taste in a lot of people's mouths if they don't release that stuff, you know? Hey, Nigel, how you doing? Kenneth, what's up? Kenneth, I saw you in some something else. I was in some other live stream I was in. I think it was the Creality one, maybe. That the Princess of ABS parts? Yeah, I've been printing... A uh, ton of ABS ASA on uh, on the Q1 Pro. Uh, I was going to edit my video, but I got sidetracked with the project yesterday. And then I uh, am doing this tonight. So once again, I'm going to skip two days of editing. Um, I guess I'll try to get it done within the next few days. Four stall changers are going to be at uh, Rocky Mountain. Nice. I wish I, wish I was going to that event. I've been uh, getting a lot of questions about me going but uh i can't i i literally spent all that money and i i to be honest i wasn't very um i guess i guess forth going asking anybody if they wanted me to wanted to cover me going there so i don't think there's like a brand out there that's going to sponsor that especially so last minute now but yeah uh next year for me but that that's pretty cool four is that's quite an accomplishment jeff congratulations man that, that's that's amazing I just built a, a Cybor, Cybor, I can never know how to say it, Voron. Uh, and my Z tops out at 325. I'm hoping I can get a little more with the riser. Um, if you have a 2.4, if it can go, like if your Z actually has that much movement upward, I'm sure you can, unless you're like physically topping out, like you're hitting up there. Um, 325 is pretty good. Uh, I know on the on my kit it's not 300 up. I think it's I think it's less. I think it's like 250. Uh, but I don't. I, I very rarely print tall, so I've never even questioned it or looked into it honestly. Yeah, you know who doesn't? They're massive, massive company doing a lot, making a lot of moves. Plus, uh, Sam was there. You got you got to watch Sam's. Uh, or Kevin, <laughs> you gotta watch. Uh, you gotta watch Sam. He's very entertaining. Nice milk sturgeon. Well, hopefully you get some caviar out of there too. Hey, John, how are you, buddy? All right, everybody. So today we're gonna be continuing this Micron build. Um, I have not done any progress since the last one of these it's, i feel like it's been forever but that's because i'm skipping uh skipping every other week at the moment uh to do this and i haven't been able to fit more than one live stream since i guess a few weeks ago uh which is the plan whenever i can if i can i will do a second one but for now i just have to stick to the one um yeah so today we are going to add the bed on we're going to add the uh upgraded z uh, tensioners, Z idlers. I don't remember what they're called, but I got the beefier ones, printed the beefier ones, so we'll do that. Uh, that should be fun. I think that means we can route some belts, maybe. I remember Zombie Hedgehog uh, suggested that I route the belt as early as possible because it'll be impossible later. So maybe we'll just do that. I don't know. We'll see. And then we'll start on the gantry. I'm definitely not going to have enough time to finish the gantry, uh, but at least we'll, we'll get that started. Did you see the Voron Delta I have? Uh, 
I thought it was all a joke, but that's clearly real. Uh, it didn't look impressive in terms of speed, but it's also very small and not very robust looking. I don't know. I kind of thought it was all a joke, uh, to be honest. But yeah, I commented on it the, in the, like, the moments that the video went live. Um, yeah, Deltas have uh, some serious shoes to fill if there's some new Deltas coming out because of just how good the V400 and whatever the new machines are gonna be. So that's interesting. I'm thinking I'm gonna build it eventually, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely would love to have my Delta out somewhere where it can be seen uh maybe where the plant is i i don't know but it's it's behind this this uh shelf like right back there so you can't see it at all even the top is covered by the cars the trucks i don't know i guess i could technically flip these shelves uh and that wouldn't really affect uh too much except for presentation but i do use these tools right here quite often so loaded clips is a joke <laughs> i don't think he's in here to uh take your uh <laughs> take your jokes there uh all right guys let's do this real quick uh we got shop at 3 dprintsoscom if you guys want to buy some cool shirts uh that are all 3d print related uh these are all designs that i made these aren't like ai or anything um that we got shirts we got uh hoodies we got most importantly a uh, really nice mat i'm using it right over here i use it every day uh perfect for building uh, all sorts of electronics on actually uh, and they're very large. And we got um, our awesome mugs. So pick yourself up something. Instead of just doing like a digital thing, you can get yourself something. And I, like I said, I keep the prices as, as low as the app will pretty much let me at this point. Uh, and then uh, right from there, don't forget that at the top, there's a pinned comment that will bring you here. You can enter to win a spool of PLA Plus. Uh, two hours left in the stream. So that's when we will be doing it. You have to be present. You have to be in the United States. And you have to fill out that question. Uh, it seems like there's multiple people per per drawing that seem to forget that. So please fill that in. Uh, you need to put a desk where the boxes are on the brick wall. Yeah, yeah, that was that was actually one of the original one of these was back there. Uh, but I decided to have all that, you know, open. So the the reason why I put the boxes there is that's the I have to get to pile. And if it's there, my OCD is going to destroy me. Uh, so I'm going to get to that stuff. And also my replica is going to be standing back there. So I need all that gone. I also right there got a single spool of blue PLA right here, which is all I need to finish this. Uh, there's a little bit of white that I need, but I have some left. Uh, um, so yeah, I need to get on that. I need to make one edit and then have the 300 finish printing that. That's another video to edit. Uh, so as far as printers left, I have the Infomec TX, uh, which is Infomec is a sister company of Flying Bear. So that's uh, one of their new machines. I have the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini Combo, the Bamboo Lab X1 Series Combo, and then of course our Anet build. So those are the, those are what's left. Obviously this. I also have a bunch of other 3D print related projects. Um, I also bought 22 Nintendo DS lights. They need to be refurbished and I'm planning on uh, designing my own case. I've already, I've already mostly designed it. Uh, so I'll be doing that. That's kind of like a gaming and 3D print uh, and 3D print design and getting and reducing e-waste type of projects. So it's kind of like everything, everything that I want to do. There's a bunch of other things in the pipeline, but I've been going kind of slow lately and uh, I, I'm enjoying doing the live streams and that, that slows me down a bit. Um, so that's everything coming up. How late am I? Not too bad, Anthony. Uh, CDS, never had a Delta. What are the benefits these days? Uh, the, some of the current Deltas out right now are just fast, reliable. They're very fun to watch, to print. So if you have like one or two machines, they're just amazing to have. They're like a, you, know, you walk into the room and there's this massive robot looking thing, essentially. It like looks like a 3D printer, whereas these look like um, appliances. So I, I don't think there's necessarily like a one specific thing the Delta is good at versus uh, bad at, because there are some downsides to having a Delta, but they're super fast, pretty accurate, if not really like the most accurate. Uh, from, but you know, it just depends. I think they're super cool. They're simple. You know, it's three motors. Um, so 
Is that Winamp? Yeah, well, yeah, definitely, uh, definitely got classic Winamp on there. Uh, if you have a Mac, uh, it's called a Reamp, uh, and it uses the original skins. So if you had any of those, or you can go into the archive, web archive, get an original skin that you might have had or remember. So, yeah, I have a bunch of MP3s that belong to the channel essentially for these live streams since I own the rights to them, so I can play them during live streams. So that's. That's how I utilize those. Yeah, exactly. This is the best way to describe it. It's like a fish tank. You can't help but watch. It's it's true. It, it you know it's not going to do anything different, but the way that it does it and the way that it moves is just crazy. Yeah. Yep. MP3s. Yeah. If I stream anything, uh, I just get striked right away. You know. So you have to you have to use audio that you own. Um, okay, why don't we get this started? Pretty much hope we're on with an enclosed V400. Oh, there you go. If it was flawless, didn't have a single fail. Per yeah, they're, they're great. I love my V400. Um, so I had to actually swap over to a different manual. If, for those of you guys that saw the last stream, there's a new manual. Well, it's not new. It's the older manual, but that's because the new manual isn't finished. Uh, which is hilarious. So we're at the end of the new manual. So I had to go to the old manual. So things aren't going to be exact. We're kind of just going to wing most of it. I mean, not wing it. We still have a manual, but it's not exact. Um, on top of that, my idlers are different. I'm, I'm doing the, the, I don't remember what they're called, Z-Bolt or something. Uh, I'm doing beefy idlers. So things are going to look a little bit different, but I'll try to explain as we go. Hey, Frog Licker, how you doing? All right, let's get my printed parts bin and let's start getting things out. So I believe it's just two parts for each. Oh yeah, they look like this. They're like uh, the angry fellas. And I forgot to uh, get uh, wash glue off of this. So I might have to get a rag and do that. Uh, what do I need, these parts? Yeah, I think it's these parts. All right, oh, and then like a belt clip. Four up top, I believe. Let me just look. I don't remember. No, this is for something else. All oh, right, the belt clip is for the bottom where the belt goes. All right, it'll all come together. It'll all come together. If I was doing this thing every day, I would know. But with, with when you take breaks from a project like this, it takes a second to get back in a into the swing of things, you know. Uh, okay, here's another one. We're off to a fantastic start. I see the main idlers pretty easily. The downside of having just a giant, giant thing full of parts. It's kind of funny. I would have thought you could easily find them in this bin. But I guess I was wrong. All right, let's go to this side. Have I looked on this side yet? All right, let's take the big pieces out. All right, big pieces, get out of here. What we got, what we got? Where are you? Why can't I see you with my eyeballs? It's not that, that's skirting. Oh, here's one, okay. And is this still another one? All right, so what? What is the bottom piece? Where do the rollers go? I guess I have to look at my files, huh? Trying to avoid it, but it's unavoidable. Because I don't remember what they look like. All right, for the sake of uh, not having just a stream where I'm looking for parts, let me go ahead and pop open my files over here. All right, Micron Plus, I uh, believe they're in mods. Yep, Beefy Idlers, BZI, Beefy Idlers. Nope, BZI. Well, we did, oh yeah, okay. So they, it was those, those tan pieces. All right, so let's find those. And is that it? Yep, all right, one. Aha, two, three, and four. 
I, I see them all now. All right, now hopefully the hardware isn't too different. I've, I should have plenty of hardware, just in general, but it'd be nice to, to use what's in the kit, you know? Uh, by the way, here's the image I was looking at. I forgot to pull it up. So this, these are the idlers, and there's different sizes. And then we got, these are the, uh, the tensioners. So we got the little guys down here and these beefy idlers here. All right, so. Hey, Phil, how you doing? Okie dokie. Let's figure this out. Yeah, because there's less hardware on those things. So we're gonna need some, some extras. Uh, I have to open those files again because I have a feeling that it tells me the hardware in there. Uh, let's see. Boop. Not boop. It does not tell me the hardware. It doesn't say anything. Oh, we need these guys too. All right. I saw them all over here. One, two, three, four. All right, we got these. Unless that, this is for the bottoms, right? Yeah, that's for this. The belts get clamped on the bottom. All right, maybe we'll do a quick search. I'll put these off to the side here. Hey, Frank, <laughs> howdy ho, neighbors. <laughs> Timor Iceman, what's up? Hey, Truggy, how you doing? Uh, let's do this. Uh, beefy idlers. Um, come on, typing. Micron, there we go. Uh, should be in here. BFI for ants. There we go. Here's what we need. I knew it'd be in here. For Micron, you'll need eight M3 hex nuts. Okay. M8 by M3 by 30s. Holy moly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think there's 30s in this kit, is there? M3 by 35. M3 by 30, I mean, we're gonna need them all. I need eight, that's probably all of them. Let me see if I have a stash somewhere. Three by 30s, there was 23 in here, but I doubt they're in there now. Uh, maybe, maybe. Let's measure zero. Let's go 30, not these. All right, here's some 30s. So we have eight, one, two, three, four. All right, I opened the thing up by accident. Five. Six, seven, seven. Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of these. Come on. Here's more. What's this? These are huge. All right. Well, let's see if I can find one more. Wow, we're out here trapping tonight. Some of the beat. Dark. What video did I use this in? Oh, I think I have a vast, vast number of 30s in here, so we should be good. Nope, these are smaller. Are these 30s? These look very long. These are longer than 30s. Interesting. 
So I got 40s and 25s. All right. Uh, oh, I have one more spot where I could have some hardware. And that's this. Oh, here we go. There should be 20 in here. Let's see how many we got. Hey, here we go. 30, 30. We'll have a ton. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Let's put these in here as well. Okay, I'll keep those in there. Always keep your hardware. We're gonna have to do a sorting stream like Nero had one time. I have so many little baggies of hardware in there that need to go to like their own spot. It's ridiculous. Uh, hey, Petty. I have Q QC concerns. They were bra brave enough to send the arrow one. They did, they sent the SVO8. That's gonna be fun. Do you know how to unclog the Kilo D1? Uh, I don't think it's specific to the D1. Um, you should be able to unclog it with an unclogging tool like this or a needle. Uh, just heat it up to about 230 uh, and use a needle from the bottom. That should uh, be an unclog. Uh, if you can't, warm it up to about 150 and unscrew the nozzle and take the nozzle completely out and swap with the nozzle if you can't, if you don't have anything that'll poke through. Ten K. <laughs> yeah, Cage from that's just a placeholder. He posted a pick of the box. Wow. Wow, they even reference Voron on the box. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I was just talking about it. Uh all right, hold on, let's keep going. Uh, and then we need four M3 by 16. Does this kid have 16s? M3 by 16s, it does. And there is four in here, but I'm worried about using all the hardware from this kit. You know what, let's just use it and then, no, cause then it'll be like mismatched or something. Let's do it right. Let's uh, let's match them because they're aftermarket. Let's match them from here. Uh, how big? 16? 16. Zero. Do 16. That's long. Here we go. One, two, three and four in fact because i have four silver ones in there it looks like i'm going to use the silver ones because the rest of the hardware on this machine is silver there we go let's put these black ones in okay all right i think i'm ready He's too small, those are too small. All right, zero, zero. Let's go. Also, I just kicked this guy. Um, like I mentioned, I need, to, I need to edit that one file and start those prints. So I need to do that. Maybe I'll do that tonight, but I'm probably gonna fall asleep doing it. Uh, maybe tomorrow, what's tomorrow? I might be able to do it. Yeah, I need to get that project wrapped. I need to use the gloop i can't wait to use the gloop yeah that, that project needs to be wrapped up i need to be able to walk around in the studio nowadays hey fabrizio how you doing uh, tiger apparently not i kind of thought it was i thought it was just like a really good joke and someone built a cool machine but i could be wrong uh, okay i did want to try to get some of the glue off the face of these things because that is in the front so I will do that with a spritz of, of IPA. Get that off.
It's actually not as bad as I thought it was. Here we go. I think these were the first things I printed for the machine. I was wondering about the body on your floor. Yeah, that needs to just be done. Uh, I've had it there for too long waiting on filament. I just gotta get it done, wrap it up, wrap it up. All right, so we're gonna need some idlers from what I understand. And those idlers are, oh, they're just bearings, okay. Let's find those bearings. Unless they're these. There's six of them. Where would these be if they're not for this? Let's keep digging. Oh, here they are. All right. F623. Yep. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These, these are these, um, these toothed ones are going to be for the gantry. Uh, slide the tensioner into the main body. Secure them together with M three sixteen. Uh, take the F three. Take the F26 bearing stack and place them between the idler, securing them using M3 by 20. Obviously, the hard those hardware numbers are not going to be accurate. All right, so it looks like here. Let me get this closer. So it looks like on these guys, there's a little spot in the back for you to drop in your M M3 nuts. I always love these little pockets. So those are going to be for this guy from the bottom. And then this guy, the little carriage, that gets the idler like this. Looks like we put it together like that. And then this guy goes in like, like that. So simple. Very, very simple. Whoops. And does it snap in or just kind of sits there? Let's see how deep this is supposed to go. No, it just sits. I mean, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be under tension. Uh, by the belts. But definitely kind of interesting that it's loose like that. All right, so my guess is it goes upward like this. Uh, and then we use this lovely piece of hardware to go from the bottom. Uh, let's go ahead and grab my trusty Hodo. Uh, bu 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 bu. let's see. What type of filament do you suggest? Uh, what do you mean? Like a material for a kit? I must have missed something you asked earlier. What do you mean? What type of filament do I suggest? I suggest all kinds of filaments. <laughs> Oh, brand? Uh, I'm a little bit partial to 3D Max because I just use so much of it. That's like my everyday regular filament, if that makes sense. So uh, I use I use their ASA, ABS, PLA probably the most. Um, they don't have like the fanciest selection. They have great colors, lots of colors as well. But they don't, they don't have a massive uh, selection of like super popular dual color tri-color you know they have some solid silks they have every solid color some really nice ones like teal and fuchsia and stuff uh their carbon fiber filaments have been my all-time favorite in fact this machine uh all the parts are printed in carbon fiber black and then uh antique white asa from 3d max so uh 
yeah, definitely a fan of their like regular everyday filament. And I use it often. All right, so what are we using to attach then? If there's two per, why am I missing one? Okay, hold on. So two, what are we using to attach them? Is it still? Oh, M3 by 20. I bet it's still the same. Let's see if that's true. Where's the little baggie of M3 by 20? Right here. And that requires how many? Two per, let's see. Obviously. Let's take two. Let's put them through the eyeballs here. Yeah, okay, so that's still the same. What a, what a, con what a design, look at this. This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Um, okay, little dude, um, should I just put it on right away? Yeah, let's get it on there, right? Why not? So, they go into the corners. And, uh, the design here is really cool because this slides into the extrusion. And these little winglets that they have on the side also slide into the extrusion. So it's one piece that kind of works on all of them, all the corners, which is very good design. Let's see if we can get that in there and I'll show you how, how that's looking. Let's see, maybe if I push it this way, there we go, like that. Uh, why don't I use this how it's intended? Did I catch it? Yep, caught that one. Let's see if I caught this one. Yep, okay. Let's move it to all the way to the side. And tighten. And tighten. <laughs> what a cool looking little thing. Here, let me show you guys. Right over here, I will, uh, I'll get a better view in a, in a second of some of these other ones. Like, let's do this one next. Uh, actually, lower and looking up would probably be best. Here we go. All right, let's do this one next. This will surely be interesting to put in. All right, first, let me quickly assemble it. Now that I know how. He probably uses his own discount because he's so jam. <laughs> I do, I do use it. Uh, yeah, 3D print SOS at checkout gets you 5% off. <laughs> That's funny. Hijack the 10th anniversary stream and ask for your filament. <laughs> oh, are they doing a stream right now? If they are, it's kind of a bummer. I wish we could like should we like, you can't stream snipe him in any way. Is a uh, Sam in there? I wonder, I wonder if there's anything fun we can do some like with streaming somehow. Maybe I can send a group of you guys to that stream to like spam something funny in the in the chat or something something relevant to uh sam or reality i don't know next week i know sam's over there right now as in like in china Uh, where's the 20s? Spam horse, like, no, 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 don't, don't spam that. <laughs> don't spam that. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, probably anything but that would be fantastic. I am short, uh, one. I am short an M320. Uh, 
I am short an M320 and I will either find it later or something. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if I have anything close. What's funny is it's probably gonna end up being black, which is gonna be frustrating. Hey, look at that. I got one perfect match right there. Frustrating because these characters have little eyes and it's their eyeballs. And if you have two of them, they're a different color. That would just be very annoying. But there we go, we found it, we're good. Never waste horse milk. Next week, I think that's 4.9, oh, okay. All right, let's see if I can do this backwards. Ambidextrous. It's okay. It's okay, I have a, I have a Hodo. One, we got that one in, and a, hey, look at that. Perfect. All right, slide to the corner and tighten and tighten. All right, look at that little guy. It's just a cool little, how can I get this in there so you guys can get it? Oh, here we go. Look at that little guy. Look, look, he's got a little chomper. Chomp, 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 chomp. It's very, um, one of those over the top designs. Super cute. That's called a raid. Oh, is that what it's called? I don't know. I don't do the, I don't do the typical streaming stuff, so I don't know. But I know people do things with streams where they like go to other streams and do stuff. Twitch, that was the word I was looking for. I don't necessarily do the typical uh, Twitch streaming stuff. Maybe I should, I don't know. Too much, I'm doing too much. That's the problem. So my plan is to continue doing what I'm doing and then catch up and then do something something else. All right, let's add this guy in there now. I gotta say though, it is really exciting to get progress done on this build. This machine uh, should be very fun and is very current. Like everything on this machine is very just like right now it all makes sense. There's still like things being developed for it. And uh, it just seems like a ton of fun. And I still don't know what machine this is going to replace for me uh, because it is the smaller 180, 180. Uh, but I do have some room, especially where the original Aquilas are. So we'll see, I'll try to reconfigure some of that and fit this in. If not, this will sit right here on my desk. Although I think my Voron V0 is, is the perfect desktop printer for everything that I'm gonna do on my desktop. I'm surprised YouTube doesn't have raids like Twitch. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know enough about it. I don't know the, the culture. I, uh, I stopped I stopped even visiting Twitch when I saw a bunch of, like it doesn't have to be females, but specifically a bunch of females really, really utilizing that platform to some weird tactics, man. I went on there with a buddy at work. We're like, just let's check out what streaming is. We were both sitting just trying to figure out some streams and there's just people like, in swimming pools and in like bathing suits. And then there's just people, I remember there was somebody, I don't remember their name. They were like, oh, in, you know, let's count down and I'm gonna do jumping jacks or something. And then it wouldn't happen. It was like 10 minutes of her counting down to her, to her do jumping jacks. And people are like donating and paying money. And they're like just view farming. 
And I was just like, you know, with all the good stuff that happens here, I watched a bunch of Diablo 2 streamers on there uh, when Diablo 2 Resurrected dropped. I spent some time on there, but it just, just like the same as TikTok, it like that kind of shenanigans really just took me out of it. it just, it just feels dirty. It's not the platform's fault, obviously, but I, uh, I don't like it. So I, I don't really use it. I don't go on there. Same with TikTok. I deleted TikTok. Definitely don't miss anything there. There's enough shenanigans going on on uh, Instagram and other places anyway. I doubt I'm actually missing anything. <laughs> hey, Papa's here. You can fit four of those borons where the chitty is. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, and I was gonna put the Q1 there, but the Q1 has a perfect home at my office. So the Q1 staying at my office and the X plus three that's at the office now, I gave that to a friend. But yeah, this X plus three, technically, even though I love the machine, I would still recommend this to anybody, especially now that the prices are gonna be crazy low on those things. Um, I can see how there's other machines that I have now that can take over what it used to be for me. The hot tub meta, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I kind of, you know, maybe it's because I'm a, I'm a father, I have a daughter, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but something about that was just enough for me not to wanna, not to wanna be there. Um, all right, I think we're on to the bed already, which is crazy talk. Uh, is it me or this camera's a little dark? I'm like, oh, I'm missing light. That's what it is. I'm like, something's weird over here. It doesn't look right. You can't see. It's that. I didn't have my, my blue light on. There we go. That's looking a little better. You can actually see some things. Wondering what was up there. Uh, do you have a filter? No, the X plus three is nude, uh, which is one of the reasons why uh, it, it, it stopped being my go-to. Um, I can easily put that in there, but now I just print ABS on the Voron Trident. And one of the other reasons, and once again, this is something you can do in the other machine as well. It fits like a million spools underneath of it. So I actually been drying out, dry out spools down here and they make it really easy to just grab. So I got five spools in there right now. Uh, so as I'm printing ABS, they just, they dry in there. Um, and also it has a double filtration system. So it has pellets and um, a HEPA in the back. So, you know, you know what I mean? Hey Darren, how you doing? I have a nice home for the chitty. Chad, uh, like I said, man, if uh, you know, stay, stay in the Discord. In that, uh, in the, you know, take a look in the, um, in that for sale thread, because I'll, I'll be. Th there's going to be waves of machines coming through there. Uh, okay, let's get the heater. I think the bed. I have to go all the way down here for. Let's see. Yes. Yes, indeed. And I found a little screw. I don't know where this little guy's from. All right, so we got the bed. Let's take out this and the magnet. I guess we could put that on, right? Don't necessarily want to put this on there quite yet, but I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind tossing the magnet on there. What we build in today, this is a Micron Plus uh, from Formbot. Declaration. This precision machine cast aluminum plate. Oh, this is precision machine cast aluminum plate. So the surface has marks of processing. As we tested, the flatness of this plate is zero to 0 0.1 millimeters. Very flat. And very heavy. 
Look at those beautiful machine markings. Looks like they took two passes on it. You can actually feel that. Like I can feel that with my finger. Interesting. Hey, Gryfang. Uh, Vividino branded bed um, heater here. All right, let's see. What do they want us to do with that? Just put it in the middle? All right, I think this installation is just a hair different than the others because this bed... Here, let me go ahead and open this. Let me go into the Micron one, work in progress, it says. So if we scroll down in this manual, where are we? Right here, aha, right here, M3 by 12. That's what I remembered. M3 by 12s could be 16, nine, M2 by 12. M3 by 8, M3 by 6. Where are you hiding? M3 by 20s, M3 by 12. PTG woes. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> nice. Yeah. PTG. What can I say about PTG? Is there a bottom and the top? Yes, that has recess. That's got to be the top. So we got these two. Let's put that in. Uh, from the bottom? This bed should have two M3 tab holes in the back of it. These are for two M3 by 12 BC BHCS. Uh, these act as alignment pins for the spring steel flex plate print surface. These screws come up from the bottom of the bed. All right, but that's strange that they... From the bottom of the bed. Oh, I see. So it'll just be the stub. The stub sticking out and not the head like on most other ones. Okay, that's why they're using buttons. Uh... Next week will be, it'll be, oh, I took the chitty apart and I can't remember why, so I threw it away. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's not exactly what happened. Um, I, I tried to take it apart to take the, uh, the what's it called, the, um, the linear rails out of it but the linear rails were just brutally terrible they were horrible so i took all the hardware out of it and yeah i i, I threw it out <laughs> uh also uh you know I, I i spoke to the brand several times and they stopped replying to me so i uh i kind of just took it upon myself gryfang chitty's mine <laughs> Looks like uh, looks like if I ever do that online auction, uh, I know who's going to be highly interested in these two machines. All right, so we need to flip it back down now. Now that the hardware's protruding, and we need to put on this very tiny, tiny little uh, this bed mat, not bed mat, bed heater. And this is the back, so it's got to go this direction like that let's give this a little closer like that all right you know what we should do we should wipe that down get some iso on there Just so that it's on the cleaner side. 
this side too, since we're putting a magnet on there. Enclosed machine, we need all the adhesive bits to stay as clean as possible. All right. Anyone got anything cool on their printers? Any cool projects? All right, let me focus for a second so I can make this as straight as I can. All right, that looks centered to me. Sure, this chat's not being weird. Printing RC wheels and a new leg. <laughs> and a new leg for loaded clips. <laughs> wow. Printing parts uh, for the variable support vehicle uh, with some texture to make it look good. Nice. And gluing what I've done. Building another rocket. Nice. Rockets are cool. Broken extruder step, stepper motor. Is that interesting? It is. <laughs> the motor itself is broken. That's pretty rare. Claw feet for a printer stand. Nice. Just install the Nighthawk uh, and tap onto 2.4 after frying the MCU and Raspberry Pi. Holy overachiever, you. Hey, Knox. Uh, Playing around with some Gridfinity stuff, seeing it'll help me. Already. Yeah, I, I've been I've been definitely enjoying it. I actually have uh, this little guy, the mini toolbox, uh, with my remixed larger drawer. As you can see, it is packed to the utmost brim uh, already with boxes and just filled. So I have my second one that I'll be adding over here, which is right there, uh, over here soon to hold all kinds of stuff for my. Uh, Nintendo DS projects because there is a lot of them uh, do you guys remember if this gets attached I think it does I think uh, I think this guy needs to go somewhere and gets attached or does it just get zip tied I don't remember I vaguely remember you guys might know better crash bandicoot model nice looks awesome crash bandicoot's fun that's cool all right, then this gets added with M316s. Let's see where those ended up. M312, I believe they were over here somewhere. M316, here we go. Printing parts from an iron shell from a Toymaker 3D, nice. That also sounds fun. Yeah, it won't run. Drove me nuts trying to figure out what was wrong. Had a noisy motor that here that runs, so help me diagnose what the problem was. Oh, okay, so one noisy motor, but running. The other is not, I see. Uh, M4 thumb nuts. Oh, I thought this got, I thought this got these things. Do you collect a uh, mini GB uh, keychain? I found Donkey Kong one ahead of the kid. No, I never collected them, um, but I do have a box of uh, 22 DS lights uh, that I'm going to be turning into macros with my own custom shell and method of making. Uh, I gotta find those. I don't know if I remember them in the kit and uh, I could be wrong here, but I think this particular kit doesn't use those specifically. Uh, I could be dead wrong. That's why it's worth looking. But from what I recall, and my memory is absolute trash, from what I recall, 
that's not something I remember seeing. Uh, that's panels down there. Yeah, just panels. Uh, are they here on the table? No. As far as I remember, this bed uh, goes on these guys. Go a little overboard there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I somewhat did. Uh, I have... I have so many handheld consoles now, it's kind of nuts, but I got really into it, to be honest. Uh, it, it brought me so much joy. I, I figured it would be really fun to do. Um, and yeah, I finished, I actually finished up my, this guy, I know you guys have seen it a couple times now, but it's finally like finished. Uh, I have a white LED in here now, LEDs on the back and an amp in here. It literally has every possible uh, modification but the amp is obnoxious I actually don't know if you'll be able to hear it because of the noise cancellation uh, but here let's go to favorites let's run golf um, so the amp is so loud you are correct oh thank you hypermotive I appreciate that the amp oh, let me pause this let's see if let's see if the audio on the on my mic will be able to handle this I uh, know, I think it's actually noise canceling. I might have to like speak. So this this is about a quarter of the way up. It'll go so loud that it's ear piercing. Ready? Let's see if let's see if we can peek peek the mic. I mean that's it's basically it's so loud that it hurts my ears. Uh, and the screen looks incredible, you know, rechargeable battery pack. Um, that's fantastic. And then I ended up uh, making the the one that i always wanted the uh advance see my fingerprints all over it so with the advance i did the same thing the the actual cartridge is upstairs so i won't actually be able to show you uh but it has an ips screen uh the same leds i even did the battery led here which was the smallest thing i've ever soldered in my life and i also put in an amp uh so the only thing this is missing is the aftermarket speaker this is still the stock speaker so I'll do that just to finish it off so I can say it's done. But this thing is also incredible and plays. But what's interesting is, as you can see, it's not down here, it's upstairs. The one that I tend to go to to play and like carry with me is the macro, the modded DS, uh, DS Lite at least. So um, yeah, I've been designing for the past few days, I've been designing my own shell for it. And I'm, I'm really excited for it. I kind of want to make something that's, that makes it easy to make, like to make one of these macros. And the way I'll do it is I'll, I'll build a whole bunch of them in all kinds of funky uh, uh, variations. Uh, I'll sell some off, obviously. Uh, and then I'll take a bunch of pictures and post it for people to use. Uh, also got the Chidi X1 Pro and I'm dialing in some ASA prints. Nice, I, I'm surprised you have to dial anything in. Mine is, mine is so dialed, the quality is just, obnoxious uh i've been printing with a daily that's great how huh? yeah i that, i do that with everything unfortunately i, I don't know how to stop because i there's so much going on uh where do you get the shells i'm gonna be i'm designing it to 3d print so there will be 3d printed shells um here i'll show you guys uh let me launch fusion it's gonna take a little while because fusion. So let me throw this on there while that's launching and then I'll show you guys a little preview. For those interested. Wow, that launched way faster than I ex expected. Usually fusion takes a hot minute. Uh, let's see, we need this file. All right, let's close this. All right, so keep in mind, it's not done. I need to figure out audio. Uh, but here is the current bottom and top plate. So top plate, uh, it will either have a speaker here. It will have a speaker grill here on the bottom uh, or on the top. I'll figure that out as we go, but kind of a retro look and should be easily printable. Also with a nice texture because you're going to print that face down. Uh, one of the design pieces here is this. Uh, 
This is big enough so that you do not need to purchase a screen. You should be able to retain the stock screen if you use the top screen. Uh, if you use the bottom screen and remove the uh, touch sensor, you will still need a piece of glass over it, which is really inexpensive or acrylic. Uh, really inexpensive for them, but uh, two pieces like a clamshell. Um, that's what I've been working on and I was working on the bottom today a little bit. So that the bottom, uh, there will be a speaker hole uh, on this side where the stylus used to be, uh, but I'll integrate it into the design as much as I can. Uh, and it will use the stock buttons uh, so that they're not printable, although I will try some printable ones. I haven't had luck with printable ones, so I wanna use the stock ones. So the color combinations are going to likely be in line with what they are stock except for the bright pink ones uh there's only so many pink ones that would sell in the first place so i will print some i'm sure like purple and pink but uh i'm not gonna make a ton of those so those are the ones that i'm gonna be experimenting with but yeah this is the case so far uh you know i'm only a few days in and just really trying to take my time uh as you can tell there's no battery door uh i've been using these a lot and i don't really use the battery i don't take the battery out for any reason you'll charge it through this uh, so the battery is going to be inside. Here's a look inside just real quick. It's still bare because I still have a lot to do in here. But yeah, that's a fun little project. There's a little preview for you. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be 3D printable in two pieces. And that's that's the idea. And I'll put it up on printables. You know, that's everything. I agree. My Q1 just works. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, I'm working on a plastic prototype to use the handheld game shells. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> I like the smoke shell. Yeah, so all the personal ones that I've been making for myself, all of them have a uh, smoke um, shell. And I'll, pr I'll probably continue that as I go. The one that I really want to, uh, and I'll treat myself after this project is done, is I really want to do the SP, just because I used to have one when I was a kid. So I want to do that. Fedor, I think you need to attach the thermal fuse. Uh, yes, I think so as well. Is it on here? Maybe I missed it. Uh, probably says it in text, doesn't it? The bed uses silicone heater. Nope, nope. Bed, wire, ground, thermal fuse in line. Okay, here, and ground wire as well. Thermal fuse in line. Oh, nope, ground wire is over there. Ground wire doesn't go on this, uh, but thermal fuse surely does. Yeah, I remember that on the Trident. Um, I did have to add it to the bed. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate that. I pioneered cow milk plastic. Now I'm doing horse milk plastic and rubber. <laughs> Wild. Thanks, David. You shouldn't smoke Game Boy shells. It's <laughs> the only way he can face us. <laughs> Let it be. Hey, Zach. What's up? What's up? All right, let's attach this guy. Um, I'm guessing from what I remember, it goes here in some wild way. Like this would be perfect. Uh, and that is threaded. Let's see, which piece should I borrow here? I remember it has to be a socket head and not a button head. I do remember that from the Trident. The 16 would stick out too much, so we probably need an eight. M3 by 8. Uh, let's see if that works. If it doesn't, we'll try a slightly larger one. Oh, you know what? That's what this is. That's what this is. That's what this was with the bed. Uh, I'm willing to bet that was in there because of that. Let's see, does it fit in here? It does. And uh, we need this guy. All right, let's attach this thermal fuse. Let's have it on the metal. Let's center this. And you don't want to uh, go too hard on this thing because it is porcelain or something like that, ceramic. I guess it's ceramic, it's not porcelain. Uh, don't want to crack that. There we go. All right, that's nice and clean. Hey, Zach. Technically, you were super early, technically, Zach. Knowledge is power. Power corrupts. 
Wow, that's a uh, that's deep. That's very deep. You have been dropping them deep, deep quotes. <laughs> oh, you were dropping them quotes like I just dropped that piece. Oh, my knees. That's how you know. That's how you know you're getting old right there. Every time you bend your knee, it snaps. All right. Look. Oh, my God. Well, I dropped all those again. Uh, hold on a sec. I have a better idea, actually. So I should get these in some kind of place that's close. And then, okay, one more question for you guys. What's the front of the machine? And I know actually that's gonna matter uh, because uh, it depends uh, where the machine is because of the uh, specific order of where some of these nuts are. And I don't mean that as a pun. Is the front with the hole? I guess so it might show me. Nope. Does it show me here? No. And then there's no more in here. Let's see. We don't need this guy anymore. Does it show me here? Let's see here. No, it doesn't. All right. <laughs> These nuts, that's right. <laughs> Dropping deuces. <laughs> Guys, what do you think? Let me know. Let me know your thoughts and your knowledge, please. Holes at the back. All right, so if holes are at the back, that means corner three and four are the front of the machine. I, I'm kind of worried now. I'm kind of worried that I put this acrylic in there wrong. Because if that's the case, I would probably need to know that now before I uh, before I have to undo quite a bit to get down there. I guess I should go back, huh? Can't wait for the day I have my war on uh, pieces in front of me. Build, like, yeah, man, it's 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 gonna be super super fun. Uh, like, look at all this fun I'm having right now. Like, this might seem tedious and annoying, but it's this is fun. Uh, all right, here, so corner one and two. No, so that's correct. So corner one and two are the corners that got the holes. So I did that correctly. Corner two and three are in the back. Wait, corner one and two, two and three? The numbers are wrong. Is this an error? This is an error. One, two, three, four. All right, let's see if there's more hints anywhere else. There isn't. Uh, that's kind of funny. Well, at least I'm making a machine super early before the masses, right? These things aren't even complete. All right, so we got corner one and two. This thing is there. So that should be three right here. If this is flipped, three and four. Uh, let's see if there's any more hints. No, that's it. So the front of the machine is actually three and four. Oh boy. I really don't want to have to redo all of it. <laughs> Wrecked. <laughs> Susan, by the way, thank you uh, for, for, for pitching in and and, uh, and saying it. It's not that I don't trust you. That's that's not that's not why I'm double. I'm just double checking because they don't show it here, which automatically makes me believe that it's in the back. But I just want to make sure because because there's differences in where we were told earlier to put in these things. You know what I mean? I'm sure you understand. It would be the same as the 2.4. Uh, let's see if I can just quickly glance without looking. Yeah, it would be the two, but I'm not going to be able to know 
from photos which corner is which. Yeah, the front. Okay, so the holes are on the back. All right. I guess we're going to find out as we go if we put in the, uh, the screws in the right place. All right, I'm a bit nervous. The round holes for the bed wiring and other holes for the Z chain. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. I, I, I appreciate that. All right, let me put it somewhere close and let's get these into some specific area. Now, is there somewhere a measurement for where this bed needs to be at? Uh, because it's placement, I guess we sh we'll be able to adjust it a little later, but it's placement is somewhat important. Actually, I think this is going to be pretty hard to do, like to put this into these holes specifically, all four of them, uh, magically lining up with with nuts on the bottom. That's going to be pretty pretty d difficult to do, I think. You'll be finalizing it at setup. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm kind of just centering it. Uh, it looks like it's towards the front. Ben install guy is purposefully not showing the rest of the printer frames. Is not okay. That's fine. Uh, does it say what? No. So just put it somewhere towards the front. It looks like, and that's about it. All depends on leveling method. I'm doing a uh, boop at first, and then we'll swap over to tool changer. Whoa, I got that one first try. Hey, look at that, two, two for one. What the? Three, are you serious? Aha, uh -huh, okay. Three out of four, that's not bad. I will take that. Cam out. There we go. And where to go? Get it? Okay, we got it. All right. So they're in there loose. Let's move it towards the front. Let's drop all this in there before I forget. Let's pull it. Come on, wires. What are you already tangled? You're not even in anything. All right, there we go. Let's get these two. Thermistor and ground looks like. Or thermistor and power rather. All right, and then the rest will be aligned later. So I'll just kind of, I'll just put it wherever. Boop, yes. Ryan, yes. Boof. <laughs> Boop with a P. <laughs> I'm on Clicky. Needed some fine adjustments. Once you get the gantry in, you'll check your Y to make sure it'll reach. Oh, okay, right. That'll be easy. Right. Yeah, once once the, the whole gantry is in, I guess it will all kind of come together. All right. I was going to put the magnet on, but I'm not gonna. I'll wait till later. And don't wanna don't wanna ding it up and make it any worse than it can be. So let's put that back. Um, clicky, that would make a good name for a dating site. <laughs> Drawn to magnets. You know what? Aren't we all? Um. 
I think that means we're onto the gantry, which is kind of like a wild thing to even say. How much time do we have? And we have some time. Okay, that's great. Um, not that I've uh, not that I've done anything major really, but the bed being on the machine and the idlers definitely make it look like we're onto something, which is pretty fun. Um, okay, let's uh, let's do it. Let's do it. So we need the two hundred five millimeter rods, which is does this one this one fully end for us? Yeah, what a bummer. Uh, in fact, let me. Um, Micron plus 180. Let's see if there's any updated uh, GitHub. I think, the, 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 I think there's a link like right in here somewhere. Extra STL, no, that's not what we need. Because um, it'd be fun to know. No. I kind of wish they had more I kind of wish they had a more robust manual, to be honest. Uh, no, I kind of thought there was a link, but I guess not. GitHub, here we go. Micron, let's see if there's an update. Three weeks ago, That might be that might be worth it. Uh, documentation. Three weeks ago, let's take a look. But that could mean they just made a change. That doesn't necessarily mean they continued it. All right, getting closer. Oh, come on, loading screen. Oh, come on. Download. Let's see it. Let's see it. It's coming up. Nah, it looks like... Oh, that's different. That's different. Oh, yeah, we got new additions. Okay. <laughs> Not many, but still. Okay. We got a little bit more. Did you get... <laughs> <laughs> only only if I set up a mirror right behind it. At this rate you'll be printing tonight. <laughs> oh no. Uh that bed looks that blue bed looks sick. Like, yeah, it's not blue. It is it is a nice machined uh metal, uh, but the blue is a reflection from the light. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's figure out that. So I'm guessing. I wish they said the letter. Oh, it does. It says to the C extrusion. There are two linear rails on the Y axis mounted to the C extrusions, and they both need to be exactly centered. So this is the C. Wait, both of these are C. Oh, there are two linear rails on the Y axis mounted to the C extrusions. They both need to be centered. Okay, those are C extrusions. Then we got D and E left, which don't I need? I need those. I'll just keep those out, but I'm, I don't know if we'll get to them, but let's try. Uh, okay, that's that. And then here we got also with the Y rail, the X rail also needs to be perfectly centered on the D extrusion. Okay, so we got, I need more space. I need more space. Our printer move back, hardware move up. 
All right, so we got CC, CCD. I'm guessing it's like this, but we will CC and D in a second. Oh, okay, that's the part that goes here. So E goes back here like that. So that will be the general shape of what we're doing. Okay, cool. So D is the Y, the y axis. Oh, sorry, D is the X axis. Left X, Y, A, B drive. Okay, cool. I like that the manual got updated. And look, they already added the beefy idlers into here. Like they're a part of the, the build already. Neat. Also, it looks like the belt pieces need to be added to the bottom, which need means I need to print four more because I definitely only printed four of those. Did someone say horse milk hot tub? Jesus, Lord have mercy on us all. <laughs> I'm not even religious. <laughs> wow. Cat the Hubble Deville, yes, that's true. I could. I could. But whispers Ferdo, what is going on? Chad, relax in the chat, man. Gee. <laughs> hey Luke, how you doing, man? The build's going great. Uh, whoops. Whoops. Clicking the wrong. Uh, build's going great. Moving right along. Uh, we're doing the gantry now. And as you can tell, I'm taking my time. This has been a while for this build. Uh, that's what I'm saying, man. This, Chad's gotten uh, gotten a little wild, huh? Okay, uh, I need to grab three rails. Okay, that was easy. Uh, we got the big boy for the X and the two smaller ones for the Y. You guys are gonna get yourself, uh, <laughs> get yourself like banned from the from the from the platform. <laughs> I'm not religious, but even I know better. See? Nice, it's a nice little chonker right there. All right, so how many more of these preloaded? Oh, you know what I just realized? I don't have one of these um, preloaded pre M2 things with uh, for the for D. So that one is just, I'm gonna have to just send, send it with the nuts in there. Wow, that's not gonna help my, that's not gonna help the chat, chat at all, is it? Hey JP, how you doing? Okay. All right, is there anything drilled into these? No, so it doesn't matter where I attach those, which is a good thing. So both of these need to just be centered. So let's just do it. <laughs> Build the micron lefedor. <laughs> Essentia. Clip that. Oh no. <laughs> All right, I wonder what is a good way to center this. I guess that would be to measure and then put in the center, which interestingly enough is so, so centered. Wow. Just the hair off. 
And that's really not a big deal. All right, there we go. I guess having this uh, ruler on the mat is actually really nice. All right, that's centered. Let's get these guys going. All right, I will take the little rubber pieces off. We are going to go center out on this one. All right, where are our million M2 screws? Uh, it's not M3s, is it? Yeah, it's M2s. Where is that little baggy, or should I say giant baggy of M2s? Is it these? And we just don't have that many left anymore? M2 by sixes, what is it? Oh yeah, it is, okay. I thought this thing was packed to the brim, but I guess we put so many in already. All right, let's just get it get it started let me make sure my chat is up to date it is oh, chad she's gonna go she's gonna go all in huh <laughs> so if i put this back over here this is the middle All oh, right, I have the tools. I have the tools I gotta get out. Centering tools. What's the point of printing the tools if we're not gonna use them? Nope, this is for this one. Good thing I printed them in green. You can see them from a mile away. There we go. There we go. That's how it is. Nice and smooth. Don't be a fool. Use your tool. <laughs> you know what, Chad? At least you're in a good mood. All right. There's always a bright side. move this this shuttle over this side now throw that on there nice all right so let's put that over here on the very end and over here on the end now we can just go to town on this thing and get it get it done. No uh, no press inserts yet, but it looks like that might change very soon. Hey Andre, just stop by to say hi to everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. Chad, chill, bro. 
<laughs> you got you're gonna have to cool it, dude. <laughs> Too much. Now, what about uh, end? You know, do I put mushroom tips on the end of here too? I know you probably like that one too, Chad, huh? Uh, better 35. All right, nice and smooth. Put these end bits in here back for now. Now that I'll pick this thing up and down. Oh, Zach, don't feed into it, dude. <laughs> don't feed into it, man. My streams are gonna get demonetized. Based on chat. I thought I was watching a comedy and turned out they made me watch a documentary. <laughs> that seems cruel. I swear all of my M2 bits are just slowly dying. I have been abusing them with these builds. They're just crawling, calling out for help. All right, so super smooth, super smooth. Centered and straight. I don't know about the ends though. Hey Federer, you getting the SVO8? I haven't, I haven't, I haven't talked to um, that company at all in ages. Uh, I think they sent me the SVO7 and then that's it. We didn't even talk after the video. Uh, I think I sent them the link to the video and then that's it. I'm loving my Flash Forge 85M in comparison to my Ender 3S1. You're, wait, you're saying your Ender can still do more than the Adventure 5M? Because that's pretty surprising. Uh, it caused me to try Orca Slicer and some better solutions for support. Now to say Orca is amazing. Orca has really just really stepped it up. Chad, come on, man. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> All right, this is the larger one. Let's do that one. This one uses M3 nuts. Screws too long, so I'm showing M3 by eights, maybe too long. In that case, swap these for M3. Man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Uh, like I have to preload I have to preload these manually. I guess that's okay. M3 by eight. Let's see what they gave us here. Uh, four, 
M2, M3 by six, M325, M2.5, 16, M3 by six. There isn't that many in there. I have a ton of M3 by eight, so that's what we're using. Uh, Federmano, what I meant is my Ender can print ABS. As far as I know, the ADM5 doesn't. Uh, if you have the non-pro, I guess, I guess the nozzle, no, you should be fine. If it's non-carbon fiber ABS, I think you should be fine printing ABS on it. Uh, let's see, how many is every other? Let's find the middle. All right, that's the middle. One, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe I'll just put all of them in, I don't know. I don't know. Just wanna make sure this is centered, but then, how do I preload these? I guess uh, I guess I should have printed a bunch of those stoppers. There's no, I mean, it's only six. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Here, let's get this up. Let's put them roughly in. One, two. Three, four, five. I'm actually really surprised there aren't like uh, 50, 50, 50, 15, 15 um, like tea nuts that are made. I guess they're just too small to make like that. I don't know. All right, so we got one on 30. Get this somewhere nearby so I can generally get this correct. This one would go here somewhere. This one will go here somewhere. All right, and with that, I should be able to get this on there using every other. Right there. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see. Should be able to print ABS, not huge parts, mind you. Right, exactly. Hey, Linus. It's all fun and games now. You guys be careful. You don't get the channel suspended, please. Yeah, like it's... Guys, to be honest, like I, I'm all for jokes, obviously. Like I, I started some of them, but you guys gotta keep it to, to some like humane level, cause it's it might it might actually get the channel pushed to some degree. Like it, it, it's it's I'm actually concerned, even though I'm doing it with a smile. I'm not upset yet, <laughs> but just you know, just you know, we're all having fun. But like, let's keep it that way, okay? Zach, my ADM5 on Pro prints ABS just fine. Yes, loaded, but there is a difference. Uh, you know, it's it's more than just enclosed. I think it has a different nozzle on it as well. A little assembly. It might be limited, but I don't know. M3 runs up to 280. Oh, if it goes up to 280, you should be good with 265. And 100C, you can do 90 on the bed and 265. You should be able to print uh, ABS and ASA just fine. Uh, what exactly is preloading, and how do you know what you what you have when you order them? They don't have any indication of loading. Oh, <laughs> uh, like preloading, like you put them in there before assembly. I guess I'm not using the right terminology. Uh, sorry, I'm like just loosely doing things. What I meant by these preloaded nuts is like when you're assembling this, this uh, uh, what's it called, um, frame, for example, you're like loading in nuts into various areas. So then when it's all done, they're preloaded nuts. Yep, this right here. That's all you need. But I don't think they're aligned. I don't think they're 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 um, actually. 
I'm pretty certain they're not PTFE lined on the 5M Pro or, or on the 5M. Did you not print the nut carriers? I did, but not for the X. So I printed I printed all of them for everything, but not not for the X. Unless unless I'm just mildly mildly uh, ill. Hold on, are these them? I thought these were for M2s. Never mind, I got them. <laughs> It's all right. These are already placed to where they need to go. <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> Luke, thank you, man. <laughs> I need somebody to, you know, I need, I need like a, um, I need, I need a good sidekick. <laughs> I need somebody to like just constantly keep me in check with this stuff. I like the linear rail br uh, brackets uh, used for the V0, but they would be too small for the Micron Plus. Yes. And all the other ones, I use those crazy long preloaded printed M2 things, which made that part really easy. All right, let me just loosely get that in there so that we're at least centered and roughly where we need to be. Let's get the tools on there for some centering action. Let's make sure this thing is as centered as I can get it. Right there. I'm sure it's not gonna be perfect, but that's okay. All right, and now let's go center out. Sorry, I'm, I'm like silent because I'm trying to, I'm trying to focus, <laughs> trying to focus, man. I don't want to mess this up. Probably one of the more important bits to get correct. So I'm just kind of sliding the alignment tools next to where I'm going from the center out. And I'm not going all the way tight just yet, just so that I have some play in all of it. Just tape cardboard around. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got Matrix song. Where's Brian at? I haven't seen him in a little bit. He always mentions Matrix song when he's in here. When this plays. Straight, straight as we're gonna get it. Uh, just for good measure, I am gonna put two more in on the ends. And we'll put these caps back in so I don't drop it. Why not? There's no downside. I use like six alignment jigs, yeah. Not not a bad idea, actually. Not a bad idea. Hey, Luke, what are you working on now, man? Uh, I haven't had a chance to... Uh to peek over at your stream, to be honest. Um, but I know you're always working on something and it's always super cool. 
So what's uh, what's your current project, sir? You doing the you doing a tap changer yet? Fantastic song. I love this. All right, I am happy with that. Put these back on the ends for now. Uh, Care Feeder 2, nice. Pulling my hair out, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I didn't want to hear that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I have, uh, I don't have one on the way yet, but I, a company did mention one. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing it yet or not. I mean, obviously I would like one on the Trident. It would kind of, kind of complete that beast of a machine, you know? Um, but I don't like hearing that you are pulling your hair out. Uh, black box tool changer. Ooh. Cool. 150 gram battle bots. Cool. VC bot 235. Man, these are all awesome projects. <laughs> hey, everybody, make sure you tune in uh, to Digital Dragon if you guys are uh, interested in any of these projects. Um, they're unbelievable. And Milo. Oh, you're going to happen that, huh? After. Okay, cool. Also, we'll be building a, a trad rack and Prusa MMU3 for the Mark IV. Wow. All that sounds pretty ideal, to be honest. Like, <laughs> you've uh, literally chosen, like, the fun projects in 3D printing currently <laughs> and are like, yes. <laughs> Rafa. Yeah, I, I was just talking about Twitch earlier, too. Uh, me, too. I'm, I'm sticking to YouTube, but... Uh, I know that Luke posts uh, his videos on YouTube after uh, they stream. So you could always catch his videos on his channel. So definitely be sure to, uh, to sub to his channel. Show some love, show some love, especially for those amazing projects. All right, so we do have some heated heat inserts in the here, which is lovely. Uh, what time we got? 11 o'clock with about an hour. Better, have you decided if you're going to do the X1 Plus uh, once you have the printer up and running? Oh, you mean the firmware? Um, yeah, I will probably, not probably, I will definitely do that. Um, yeah, I need to really plan out when I'm going to get to those machines. Uh, but the Infomec, uh, Infomec TX has to come first. Um, I need to get along with this project and this project needs to happen. Uh, the Q1 video needs to be wrapped up. So there's definitely, there's definitely, there's definitely stuff <laughs> that needs to happen before I dive into the world of bamboo. Uh, but yes, I, I'm definitely, definitely going to do that. If it's available for me at all, I will, I will try to do it. Yep. There we go. Yep. I stream on Twitch and post over YouTube so they stay up longer. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. That means everybody wins. All right, so these two. Are going to go like this. This is how it's going to go. Now, this manual is obviously not done. It's having me go with the idlers first. They would be pretty easy to attach, actually. Oh, actually, actually, these go downward, don't they? Uh, but technically, starting with this smaller F piece is probably better. Well, let's let's close this manual. Let's go to the blue one. No, it is idlers. I shouldn't have closed it. 
Yeah, is the idlers first. Okay, so you're kind of like assembling all these systems. All right, let's uh, let's grab the idlers. Uh, I guess no matter what, we're gonna have to do some press press fit inserts. And then I am going to have to print more of these little clamps. Uh, because I only printed four and it looks like we need eight of them. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Uh, you know what? Let's do that real quick. Um, let's move this out of the way. Why not? That's kind of the point of this machine. All right, like this machine exists for this situation. That's why I put it there. So let's utilize. Let's go power on. Let that puppy warm up and let's find that. Is that your lighting or did you dye uh, the right side of your hair blue? <laughs> no, no, it's the lighting. I have a blue, <laughs> a blue beam of light back there. All right, let's do Orca Slicer. Yes, I know there's a new Orca Slicer. I know it's good. I will get to it shortly. All right, prep. Let's go to Boron V1. Device, do 105. 150 on the nozzle. Let's do Nevermore 100. And while that is heating, let me check if I have filament in there. Like I know it's in the box, but is it in the machine? Looks like it. Uh, okay, let's find those clamps real quick. That's going to be in here somewhere. Hey, Phil's back. Uh, okay, that's going to be in STL uh, Z drive, right? No, not Z drive. Gantry. But the gantry is not stock is that them it looks like them uh but i think i did the different uh i did the i think this is going to be in mods yeah because we did the r1 beta let's just get them from here even if it's the same What? Plot twists. Oh, wait, that doesn't matter. Also, it, it doesn't, I don't get those from here as well because I did the beefy idlers. Beefy idlers have these and this only calls for four for whatever reason. Yeah, there's a belt here and a belt there. I need four more. There he is, Brian, the Matrix song we just saw. And I was just, I was just saying how every time that comes on, uh, we usually mention it. <laughs> What's up, man? In the main cell, you can add custom G code to the heating uh, presets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I just been lazy and uh, haven't set that up, but I, I've done it on every other machine. I have that for that for the Trident. Yeah, Fluid has it. Yep, and LEDs. Yep. Yeah, and all this is literally set up to do it all. I just, I just haven't done it for it. Uh, I just been uh, using it quick and dirty. 
So just to just to double check, yeah, there's two sets. Wait, is my head broken? I have four. Jeez, guys. My head is just I need some I, I and I, what's funny is I've been trying to catch up on sleep too. I think we're good. There's only two of these. I have four printed. I'm delusional. Clip that. <laughs> Jeez, that went far. We only need four. Now, maybe a silly question, but when 3D printing and using the slicer, I use metric, but I'm native to uh, SAE or inches. Anyone else run like that? Yes. But being a, a mech, I tend to learn towards met, lean towards metric system. Yeah, metric is fantastic. I Once I got into 3D printing, I've been using millimeters and centimeters for as much as I can. Obviously, if you're going to be like building something for the house and need to go to Home Depot, you're going to be uh, out of luck there, you know, without knowing inches. But for a majority of other projects, luckily, we can get away with not... We can just, you know, stick with millimeters, centimeters. So much easier, in my opinion. All right, now that my my brain um, has uh, has caught up with itself, let's go ahead and figure this part out. Uh, I do need to put in some. Um, what are they called? Some uh, some inserts into here, I believe. Unless that too is not correct. Let's see. Now nah, this this goes in here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the way these idlers work is, this is gonna have the pulley, and it's gonna sit in there that way. This goes on the end like that. And there's going to be two bolts that go through it and they need to pull this way, which tensions this, which means, yes, all these need to have an insert. So let me take all these. I keep I keep thinking there's more of them. There's just two tensioners, Fetter. Relax, brother. Typically use my uh, micrometer in millimeters or inches. Yes, same. All right, let's see if I can get both of these clamped at the same time. That'll make it a little bit easier. Yeah, let's do it this way. Try not to overdo it. Famous last words. Nice, another good good little song here. Uh, for those that are just jumping in, by the way, because we only have a, a little bit under an hour left, uh, there is a giveaway in the top of the chat. So go ahead and jump into there for your chance to win a spool of PLA Plus from 3D Max. Anyone else who sells an affordable 16 inch cow? Oh yeah, that's, I would actually like to know too. I, I do need to upgrade mine at some point sooner than later, to be honest. All right, let's get our M3 inserts. And we need four of them. One, two, three, four. Gotta love how fast this thing heats up. It's really amazing. Yeah, I'm sure you guys like inserts too. Let's, uh, let me get you guys a little closer. And Zoomy's not in here, I'm using her vice.
Brian, how you been, man? You got uh, you got any cool projects going on? Uh, congratulations on your achievement there. I saw that you did a uh, a contest. I obviously, don't know the name because I'm I'm not quite a part of that scene. But uh, I did want to say congrats to that. If you're still in here. I know those things are super tough, as my wife does them. Four hundreds going bad. Oh yeah, mine are garbage in comparison to that. Another cool thing about this design is uh, these get pulled backwards, which means uh, it'll be nearly impossible to pull these heat heat inserts through the other end, which is always the best way to set these things up. So if you're designing a part that involves uh, heat press inserts. If you can, obviously you can't in some cases, but try to put them in from the other side. All right, that was easy peasy. Turn this off for now. Here, I'll put it in the machine. Let's see how we're looking. What do you think? Yeah, the high rocks. It's pretty tough, I'm sure, man. Eight 1K runs <laughs> with a cross for like <laughs> movement after each one. Oh boy. Yeah, my wife's doing uh, not only another CrossFit competition, like a local one. She's also doing a uh, half marathon. So she's been she's been training for that. And I'm just eating donuts and sandwiches. I definitely need to drop drop a solid 20 to get back on track <laughs> uh how do you get the soldering iron how do you how do you get the soldering iron for inserts on pla how hot oh 300 should be good uh 300 that's that's my answer 300 i, I do 350 on abs uh if the part is small i go a little bit lower to like 300 and i try to get the heat off as soon as i can uh, but yeah, 300 should be perfect for PLA. Uh, all right, it's not having me do inserts on other stuff right away, is it? Like, are there inserts on these? I don't think so, actually. Wait, right here. I wasn't crazy. I did my first half in March. Ooh. You love it, huh? Uh, my, my brain is like only a quarter functioning. So if this is the case, I still need, I still need four more of these. Four more belt clamps. What are these for? Where are these being clamped? I'm so confused. I'm gonna go back to this image. Where's the image of the gantry? Show me the gantry. So, right. Two are here and two are up there. Okay. All right, we do need them. So I was, I was only partially insane. All right. I was only partially going, going crazy. And yeah, you're right, man. I do need to just spend the 10 minutes and make a macro for this. Yeah, it would just go right here. Uh, yeah, because there's presets. Oh, there is, they're not even in here, but you, you don't even need to do that. You can just do it in here, I think, even. I think there's even presets in this thing. Uh... Nope, that's color, macros. No, this is for categories. Where's the preheat stuff? Thermal presets, right here. And is there a fan? 
heater bed extruder G code. So I, I would still need to figure out the other. Yeah, I'll just do it in a macro. I don't want to do it here. But yeah, I just need to spend spend a few minutes and actually do it that way. All right, hold on. So. So that still means that I did not print. Um, this, this gantry, these guys. So as far as I understand, I just need two of each, not four. I know it says four, but that's because it thinks that I'm gonna use the idlers from this and I'm not. So I need two of these and two of these. All right, so let's do clone one and clone one. And let's do a range. Look how happy they are right there. Look at these little guys. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, let's wait for this thing to get a little warmer and then we'll do it. My oldest son just got a med uh, discharge. Ooh. He lost the lower half of his right leg. Oh, man. I am sorry to hear that. I, uh, You know what? Glad that it was just that. I know that's like a horrific thing to say. But glad it's just that, man. That's rough. That's rough. This is true. This is true. Friends a machinist and he gave me one of his Duracal. Nice. I bet it's I bet it's fantastic. Alright, what's our temp at? 101, almost there. Alright, in the meantime, let's see if we can get some hardware for this. Which also means, whoops, which also means that I shouldn't have closed that other GitHub. Uh, Micron, beefy Z. Oh, look, looks like they're super easy to find, which is nice. Uh, hardware, here we go. Micron, four M320s. M320s, lots of them in there. One, two, three, four M320s, four standard, oh, no, wrong ones. Four standard Voron M3 by five by four heat inserts. We just did that. Uh, and then two X M312 socket. M312, I, I have buttons. Do they have to be sockets? I mean, I can obviously grab some. Is it just because they look better? I'm just gonna use these and we'll figure it out. 2X M3 by 12.
Wait, why? That's not correct, right? That should be way more. You need one, two, three, four for each one. Right? Because that's how we're adding these belt tensioners. I hate how unsure I am about this stuff because the manuals aren't complete. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we need... Yeah, because if, if th th they get added like this, we need two more on this side. Uh, the M3x20, that is four. Those are correct. The four inserts, that also was correct. Plus some shim bearing stack set over idler as the original. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I think I think we need eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll kind of go with it. We'll go with the flow. Let's see if I can start the print yet. Yep, should be good to start the print. Repair. Let's make sure we're in ABS. Yep, that's all correct. Yep, that's all correct. That is good. Let's print it. Better take your time. Warren Bill can make you question yourself a lot. Yeah, can't you tell, Will? I've, I've questioned myself like a million times already. Just... Just very recently here. I've also had a pretty long, long and interesting day on top of that. All right, so that was M16. I think I need M12. I think I need M16, I need two of them and I won't have them here because this is an aftermarket setup. And I need to dig them out myself. There we go, two of those. There we go. So yeah, the reason why a bunch of hardware isn't fitting exactly is because I'm doing a few mods. Our printer has started. Let's get the idler bearings. Go ahead and reach in there and grab that little bit of extra. Actually, it should be fine. Yep, that'll be fine. One of the things that I really like about the V0 is once you have that thing set up and you let it get hot enough, um, I mean, it just, I haven't, I haven't done anything. I haven't gone in there to change anything or edit anything. Maybe I'm, I'm going to say it now and it'll mess up because I haven't printed with it in maybe, maybe three, four days. Um, <laughs> but that is always really nice about the machine is it just, every time I need something printed real quick like this, I just, I just click print and she goes. He knew something that gave it all in the rack, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for his service, man. That's, it's an amazing thing to do, really. Not everyone can do it. And honestly, not everyone should do it. <laughs> Ooh, this one has a nice click to it. All 
All right, let's see how this go in there. This goes backwards. Got to make sure this aligns. It does. All right, and then this cap would close it like that. And then this guy drops in from the front. I'll show you guys this assembly in a second. All right, that looks even. Don't do it just the hair. Honestly, it looks like these screws can be longer. I'm kind of surprised by how little there's left after I use these. What did I use? I used 20s. Let me see if 25s would fit. Hey, pro. Yeah, 25s won't fit. Okay, I guess that's just how it is. All right, so the printer is off to the races. That's looking good. I'll let that go. Unless you guys want to watch, I doubt it. So let's, uh, I'll turn you back here. Let me show you what I got. So here's one of the idlers set up. Come on. Here we go. So inside here, we have our little carrier with the bearing set. On the outside, we have two M220s and they, let's see, they go into the press fit, not press fit, the heat insert. See that right there? So I made them even so it sits even. But with that, there's very little space to tension. Very little, maybe a few millimeters. So I'm kind of worried about that. Yeah, like if I go all the way, yeah, that's just not enough. I'm not, I'm not digging that too much. Uh, maybe I don't need to go full flush with it. Maybe I can go like a couple spins out this way. So that still grabs plenty, but yeah, maybe that's, maybe that's enough space. But that doesn't seem uh, very confidence inspiring there. I, and, and 25 millimeters would be too long. Let me see, are there holes for it? No, they're not. All right, I'll just, uh, I'll just do it how it should be, and uh, we can always alter it later. So here's how this little stack works, just because it's fun to watch. So this little guy goes in here and it actually clicks like that. This goes in here, up oh, backwards. It goes like that, and there's only one way it can go because it has those little edges. There we go. And then this gets closed on top like that. And then we have our two 20s, which I still think might be wrong. See, I'll go until I can see it and then back up some. So let's match that. Right there. All right, that gives us about two and a half or so millimeters of tension, which isn't quite enough. Um, but like I said, 25s won't fit. Let me just put it in there and check. Maybe with a washer. It just doesn't seem like a lot of adjustment for a, for a belt tensioner.
Okay, yeah, I am correct in saying that the 25 just will not fit. That's too big. So ideally you would need like a 22, 23 millimeter, which I don't even know if that exists. I don't think it does. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm off off there. Hey Reds. How you doing, man? Uh no, Luke, I'm not. I uh I spent the money that I had saved for that trip to buy a camera for the channel. Since I'm doing still still making videos, I figured I'd 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 splurge on that and uh I'm super, super happy with the camera and it has really expanded what I can do on the channel with video. So I ended up buying this Lumix. So yeah, this is the money. This is the hotel and airfare right here, right there. So now I can shoot in 6K up to 120 and uh, it's just an absolute monster. And uh, I'm no longer limited by my ancient 1080p camera, which I'm, I'm very excited about, as you can imagine. But because of that, I can't go. And I've been asked several times a day for the past few weeks. Unfortunately, I know it probably would have been an amazing trip. This little beauty of a tiny printer. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be just gorgeous. Warren looks like a new Quarks Y Sova. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yes, it does, doesn't it? Look at this little uh, <laughs> look at this little uh, Soval clone. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, thank you, Will. Yeah, yeah. If you see any, so some of the most fun that I have on the channel is making those like thirty-second intros to my videos. So I think the past two videos that I've done were with this camera and obviously this one. So just those little bits are so much easier and so much more fun to shoot just because I have that real estate of being able to kind of crop in and move the camera around and, and the lenses are so much better than what I had. Um, it's, it's, it's just a non-comparable thing. And now I have this for years to come. So. It had to have been done. Unfortunately, it was around this event, but you know, it is what it is. Hey, look at that. Did you buy the, the OBS, OBS bot or OBS bot, whatever they, whatever they called it? Cause uh, I actually, I probably should have told you, I think I have a 5% off coupon somewhere, but I, I honestly, I don't remember. It's been, it's been a minute. But they're uh, they're really fun. All right, let's see if there is uh, some kind of instructions uh, as to how to install these. I guess I guess this is the instruction right here. Oh, I got the hiccups now. Yeah, so they just go on this way, and this is showing us what? What is it showing? Well, that's just showing the install. Okay, so we need the M3 nuts. And we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so this is going to be the front. How did that go, man? I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I plan on catching it, I haven't had a chance. Oh, I signed the most expensive webcam. Oh, okay. I got 14 days to return it. Nice. <laughs> I like this so much I ordered uh, the one I actually wanted, which was the OBS one you suggested. Oh, cool, cool, cool. 
All right, and is there a right or a wrong way? It looks like one just attaches downward and one attaches upward. Just because of how naturally these things go on there. All right, so here's one. Okay, well, that's what we're looking like. So this one is looking downward. So if I take this one and I put this one on there, this one should look upward. All right, so slip that on there like that. So now, are we looking like that photo or what? This one is upward, this one is downward. Okay. So downward is the left, upward is the right. And then let's go ahead and add these nuts in there on both sides. I'm just gonna slide them in through the little opening. And then we can put this on there. I know we'll use this later. And that will go on top. And that will go on top. Take this out of there so I can do it, do it manually. Our one is on. Are these too long? No, perfect. All right, I'll show you guys in just a second. All right, so here's what we got here. So as you can see, I have added two of these nuts onto there. So that should be just like the photo there. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that. All right, this one doesn't need to be tightened because we're gonna have to take these off to put the belt on there. So I'll just loosen those a tad. All right, now we do the same thing, but on the bottom. Let me push this one all the way down. This way as well. Put this guy on there. Drop one. Drop another. All right, and then I'm just gonna leave them leave them loose for now. What we got going on here? This one didn't didn't quite fit. There it goes. Okay, good. I think I noticed. All right, loose, loose. Okay, cool. There we go. So that should be correct, and our print is done. Gotta love it. I'll let that do its thing in there. Let me make sure this guy's run. Whoops, this guy is still running because I still have it turn off, which is another one of those things I have to set up in the in the uh, print end. I want this to run for a few minutes, maybe like five minutes. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I was worried to be uh, cringe because of how it went. The previous guest, <laughs> guests, I did a lot of pre-planning with them. Oh, nice. Make sure it wasn't awkward. Wow, that's good for you. I, uh, I specifically don't plan any of that stuff. I just show up in there and <laughs> if it's cringe, baby, it's cringe. But I think I got all the parts I need to build myself a clone Voron for my dead bits thing. That's the best. That's the best. I hope uh, I hope you do, and make sure you share it because I'd love love to see them. I'd love to see the build from other machines. That's that's great. All right, now let's do this one. What time we got? It's a little under thirty minutes. For those just joining, guys, there is a pinned comment at the top of the chat 
where uh, you can win yourself a spool of uh, PLA Plus by 3D Max. So definitely jump in there and get on that. And I will... Uh... Oh, and you have to be in the United States. And you have to be present for the drawing. But I do enjoy giving away spools of filament, so stick around and grab one for yourself. Ah. Okay, just two more. Drop that in there. Drop that in there. Let's go. Let's go. All right, there we go. So this would be this way, pointed towards the inside. All right, we're making making some decent progress. And most importantly, it looks cool. <laughs> I definitely really like the tan and black combo. The most beautiful prints I've uh, ever seen in my life are on your Instagram. Wow, they were printed with a Voron. I look forward to seeing the quality of this one. Uh, that's a cool compliment. I appreciate that. I did used to really enjoy like posting on Instagram. And I, I, I'm afraid I got like a bit fatigued because nothing ever came from it. Like uh, the engagement is so low. It was for me. Um, I kind of stopped, and I, I've been posting here and there. Um, yeah, like I've been posting progress on this. Like here's here's the oh right God. Okay, well I'm not gonna be able to pull pull up any of these photos, I guess. But yeah, this was an amazing amazing quality. Uh, right there, the very first war on print on here. And PLA carbon fiber, some beautiful bridging. This is actually PETG, much to everyone's surprise. Oh yeah, now you can't. Yeah, thanks, thanks Instagram. Maybe at some other point I'll sign into stuff on Chrome, but easy to get burned out when you aren't getting much engagement, right? Like it's. You know, I, I love sharing the things that I'm working on. I do that with every hobby. And, uh, you know, it's always really fun to share the hobby, right? I guess maybe that's like a narcissist part of me, huh? All right, so we did this. These are on. That's fantastic. Uh, now it's time for the A and B drives. Which is crazy. So we got just under 30 minutes. Let's see if I can at least make one of those. I guess, right? Oh, we're gonna have to do inserts. No, maybe not. All right, let's get one motor. Gotta be realistic. There's no chance in getting two, but maybe one. Let's see. All right. Uh, and then we have to figure out which side goes where, which is gonna take some time. So here's one. Here's another. Uh, we got a piece here, a piece there. We're gonna need that. And this probably. Here's what I was looking for. Let's put all these back. And let's stick with let's stick with what they're showing on the screen. Uh, everyone hit the, hit the like and checked out the shop. The mats are awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, the mats the mats I I have really enjoyed. Um, I got the more monotone muted one, but the color one would be amazing. Uh, you know, I use it every day here, and whenever I build any of my electronics, I move this to the side and. Uh, use that one so that it's soft. All right, these are the lovely Moons motors. 
All right, so this looks like it's the top one. So the ones with the hexes are the tops. This is looking like the bottom. Let's see if I can match the photo. These are different because these are the updated, mo uh, what's it called? The updated drives. Now, the one thing I can't see, as always, is which motor the wiring is facing. Attach the A stepper, here we go. Attach the A stepper. Orient the motor so that the wiring is facing towards the middle of the printer. Okay, right here. Using one M3 by six, secure it. Oh, really? M3 by six. Where is that? That's over here somewhere. M3 by six. Yeah, this is one of those things where I didn't, I've never built a 2.4. Uh, here we go. I've only built a hey, Wilmar. Appreciate that, man. That's, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Mats are great. Really clean up well. Thanks, Truggy. Yeah, I actually... I appreciate that, man. That's that's awesome. Thank you. I uh, solved. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dive suit feeling. That's true. That's a really good way to describe them. Uh, yeah, the mats. Um, I don't remember what I was gonna say. The 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 dono threw me off, but in a good way. <laughs> it was something related to to the. Uh, oh, I because I never built a two point four, so I don't. Obviously, for those. Uh, folks that have would have a much easier time figuring some of these things out. Dive suit fuel, yes, 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 yes. All right, so we got that. Oh, so it's showing, I was confused as to why it's showing uh, two, but that's because it's quite legitimately sh showing two. All right, this is, I did this wrong. I did this one backwards. So I need the overall diagram. Uh huh. So this one is actually this guy. Therefore, this needs to be spun this way. All right, that means this has no other choice but to go like that. Is that a 3D printed tool orange toolbox? Yes, it is, and I have one on my desk as well. My, my English went out the window. Mine does too, man. Sometimes I just start jibber jabbering. Yes, it is a 3D printed toolbox and inside is Gridfinity. Uh, and uh, I, I use one over here and I printed a, or I, uh, what's it called? I made a larger one. So this is on printables. It's, it's chock full right now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's Gridfinity inside, which is very nice, easy to organize. Uh, has rubber feet. Uh, there's cool little, cool little things you can put on there to make it look like snap-on and all sorts of stuff. There's add-ons. Uh, but yeah, I did a remix of this on printables. <laughs> all right, so we got those there. All right, so we're dealing with which one? This one. All right, now we need the GT216 that I saw somewhere. That is where, uh, up here, right? Yeah, right here. There's two of them left. What boron kit would you say is the best uh, if it's your first time building one? 
Uh, Zodak, I have had... This is, this is my third Voron. Uh, I have had two previous builds. I had the Fisec Trident kit, uh, which was the base model, which I ended up upgrading quite a bit. And in my, in my opinion, it required it. I do a video on explaining the mods that I wanted to do, and I did them all. It's all back here. It's my favorite machine by a landslide. Uh, I also did the Fisec V0 R1 which has its own quirks, but right now it's a fantastic machine. I actually used it during the stream uh, to print that real quick. I love this thing. It's easily my second favorite machine. Uh, and this is by, this kit is by uh, Formbot. The only critique I have so far is, I guess the machine is so new that the documentation is just lacking so much that I'm doing some guessing here and there which I'm fine with. These things are projects and I'm okay with doing it this way, but it would be nice uh, to have better instructions. Oh, I forgot that I need some uh, Loctite on this. Uh, but so far the quality of the kit itself, uh, everything revolving around that is great. I have zero complaints whatsoever. Um, so, you know, my, uh, my experience is somewhat limited to just two companies that make these. Uh, but so far, they're pretty equal in what they've offered. I would say that Fisec, just based on the other two machines, maybe because they are older machines, uh, the documentation was quite a bit better. <laughs> Someone's behind you. Always, always has been. Uh, this item, my next one will be V02. Uh, which one would you recommend? I, I can only recommend, or I, at least I'd like to recommend things that I have, like, you know, experienced myself. In which case, the Fisec. Also, by the way, I don't know if they've made an announcement yet, but Fisec has a new one coming out. It has a new V0 R1.1 or something along those lines, and it has new electronics in it. I would highly suggest that one. Uh, because this one has some quirks. I am on my second motherboard due to a cable issue, which I plan, when I do make a video on it, I plan on you know, fully talking about that uh, and what I did to solve it. I definitely have some solutions for their machine that's on printables, uh, like the top hat riser, uh, the cable uh, tie for, uh, for the tool head, uh, things like that. Uh, also, the um, uh, I call them the mushroom mod with the little mushroom pieces that let you go all the way up with the Z. Uh, so after those things, the machine has just been so, so, so rock solid. Uh, like if I was to keep one machine and I couldn't have a big one, I'm taking that one. If I could just keep any one machine, I would take the, the Trident. So that's, that's where I'm at. Uh, install the G2 pulley on the stepper as shown. Don't tighten it down just yet uh until you run the belts later in the assembly really so typically there is like a tool that you put on uh, with these kits that tells you exactly where to put this pulley but not on this one huh that's uh that's different so how where do i put it how high how low nothing i don't get any Okay, so I'll just put it on here to some degree and just keep it keep it a little bit loose. Okay, unusual, but all right. Uh, by the way, for those just joining, we have about 10 minutes left in the giveaway. Uh, ex actually, exactly 10 minutes. Guys, there's only 38 people in it. If you're in the United States, if you plan on sticking around and you want a chance to win a free spool of PLA Plus from 3D Max, jump into here that it's pinned at the top of the chat answer the question you have to answer the question uh and then you have a chance to win so 10 minutes left in that so go ahead and jump into that there went your grub screw <laughs> it rolled off did it no come on mr walkman you got me the grub screws we're zooming out with our grub screw talks uh, I'm not installing any of these end stops. Uh, we're gonna go sensorless. All right, here's the bearings. Let's make this lovely stack. Looks like we're making three of these. 
Do I have enough? Wait, what? What about the... Wait a minute. Wait, that's gonna be all of these. What about these guys? Where do these go? To my left? No, I have them both right here. They're both right here. Hey, there she is. I'm here, she said. Yeah, we're here. We're, we're just at the grub screw part. <laughs> Form seems broken. It says I created too many injuries. You know, Rafa, that's that's not you're not the only person that said that to me. Um, I've created none. I don't know what to do about that. I have seen that though. Uh, somebody was telling me in the comments, and I couldn't do anything on the back end. What's the name of your toolbox? If you just go to um, Printables.com slash 3D print SOS, it'll be there. That's probably the easiest. What are the requirements to go sensorless? Will any old uh, TMC 2209s work? Yes. Yeah, 2208s and 2209s will do it. Uh, I'm a little confused. Uh, try a different browser and it works. Oh, okay, cool. Good, good, Rafa. Uh, man, okay, hold on. I'm a little confused about this uh, because, and maybe this is just because this is outdated or something. Where was I supposed to use? Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna have enough. There's no way. Where was I supposed to use these? Was I supposed to use them in here? I bet. Okay, I definitely feel like I have made an error. Um, hold on, let me look at the belt line because if that's true, I have to undo those. Uh... So the belts are gonna go on the inside and looping inside. So yes, I need to take these out. I literally open the chat and I hear grub screws, where's Zumia? <laughs> Impeccable timing. Okay, that's the idler. That's not important. The idlers. Hmm. All right, any advice on where I should look for this? Um, let's go. Can I maybe spot something in some photos here? I doubt it though. Um. Oh no, look, the belts. Okay, here's one. I mean, that looks just like my trident. But yeah, so in here it is the smooth one. So I'm not taking that apart. So this one is going to get that tooth one. Oh, yeah. See, this is the part. This is the part that I, I really don't like. Is I think I think to be fair, Formbot should include their own manual. And I mean, it is just a collection of their parts. They're really nice. But yeah, you can see here. I have six of these guys but I don't know where to put them. Yeah, there's one on the edge right here. Yeah, this one. 
I guess what I need to do is look at 2.4. I wonder if I could like look like this. Oh, that is true. Yeah, I was. I was using that thing. Okay. This is all uh, Troodon stuff. Oh, that's where I am. Am I missing one? Is there anything that, that says stealth or No. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Hmm. Um, okay, what about this? Aha! Aha! I found where I went wrong. I think I need to get those swapped, which would be really easy to do. Nope. I don't think this will fit in there. Let's try it on this one. I want to know. And that would make enough bearings, so that's probably it, actually. Does this fit in there, though? No, it doesn't. Okay, plot twists are happening. Maybe I'm just miscalculating. How many times? Well, we got just a couple more minutes left before I give away everybody. Just bear with me for a second here while I figure out all this fun stuff. Um, <laughs> toothed. All right, well, I know I see at least where two of these are going to be used, but let's see how many stacks I got left according, whoops, according to that manual again. So this one's one, two, three on each one. I don't have enough for that. So... I've definitely made some error somewhere. So let me see how many I have. I got one, two, I have four. I have enough to make four stacks. And I need two over there. Well, it's on the screen right now. Oh yeah, I don't have enough at all. So I'm doing something wrong somewhere. So I need four for just these pieces. Okay, so very clearly there's a deviation um, from the main kit for, for FormBot here. I don't know which one, which ones of these should be toothed. See like in here, there's essentially six stacks of non-toothed pulleys there. Yeah, here's the belt line. So it looks like this one would be toothed. This one would be toothed. Yeah, and that's it. The rest are smooth. So what? 
Well, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to figure that out uh, on this on our on this particular stream. I don't know what this piece is either. I think it's some kind of power supply attachment, but I definitely didn't print that. I don't know what this is at all. PSU clip. I don't know what any of this is. This looks crazy. Uh, that's beside the point. Um, all right, well, this is like a little hurdle. I'm gonna have to try to figure this out before the next stream, considering we're, you know, building this, uh, this part. I still feel like we, I got a lot done today. Did Rob Rob do a build log? I'm not sure. Hey, Mushi, move, Mushi, move fishy. <laughs> uh, which pulleys? Um, I'm trying to build the AB units, okay? And the manual, at least this old manual, because the new one is not complete. Actually, speaking of the new one, let me check one more thing. Anyway, I'm trying to build the AB units and uh, I noticed that it's calling for so many of these bearing stacks. I don't have nearly enough in my kit. Uh, and I have a feeling that Fisec specifically, I mean, not Fisec, sorry, uh, Formbot specifically wants uh, me to use the toothed ones for some things. What those things are, I don't know. All right, this is what I wanted to see. So, one. Yeah, and the rest of this is not tooth. So where does it want me to put these tooth? Yeah, here's a great example. So I did that correctly. Uh, maybe there's another box of these bearings. I highly doubt that. There's a different pretty part to use the tooth idlers and the Z idlers. So for these Z idlers, I printed the beefy. I printed beefy Z idlers. I printed these guys. Uh, I'm guessing these are the small ones. So you're saying there's a different print? Okay, we could check that as well. Mods, beefy idlers, micron carrier. Uh, well, it looks like the files don't come with a different one. Wait, that's the front idlers. Uh, I need to look at... This. This guy. So technically this needs to be different. And there is only one. Right, is that what we're using? Yes. Yeah, technically that would give me four more. That's still not enough. Four more wouldn't be enough. That does use up all these though. That does use up all these guys. But four more stacks wouldn't be enough. 
if each one of these things needs three. If they need two a piece, then that would be enough. Maybe that's how it works. Maybe that's how it works. I bet this needs a stack of two, uh, where, here? A uh, stack of two and then a single one of those. Ugh, I don't know anymore. All right, I'll have to do more research. I don't want to just wildly guess and give false information to somebody who like needs it. Um, if I go to the SAR-1 gantry. V joints? Oh, no, not that. The axis, what's in here? No, whoops. A B drive. Oh, right here. Idlers. So this is the gantry one. Nope. Uh, the Z. No, nah, I mean this is this is what I have. So. Yeah, like this one, you can very visually see that these are toothed. Uh, this one you can't see. This looks like it's a bearing assembly <laughs> to me. I don't know. Either way, uh, let's get to our winner here because we are seven minutes over into my confusion. Uh, you will reuse the existing M320 VCH preload M3 nuts mounting the frame as well as the shim bearing stack setup. Okay, so there you go. So I guess I'm just short or uh, or Formbot wants me to use them somewhere else. And I am just unsure. Yeah, if I use three in each... That's three. I need two more. I need three more minimum. Two on XY joints, uh, four on Z idlers. So I just, you're saying I need to find and reprint uh, the idler bottom portion. Because these, these, the geared ones are the toothed ones are a little too wide for it. So I'd need to reprint it or I guess modify them and, and reprint it. Uh, I, you know, I'm giving them the best benefit of the doubt. It's usually my fault. They look angry. Yeah, they do. Oh, here you go. I should have looked in the comments before I was ravaging through there. Move fishy though. I'm using the BFIs though. That's that's not gonna work. I'll have to I'll have to just modify them. R1 beta home. Let me just double check what you're talking about. Uh, let's see. So if we go to this R1 gantry beta STLs Z idlers. I don't have that folder. Oh, I probably don't have that folder in here because I didn't copy it over since I was using something else. Yeah, I bet I just didn't copy that folder. Excuse me. Since I'm using the Beefy Idlers BZI. Uh, what if we do Micron uh, BZI toothed bearing. Uh, it shouldn't be bearing, but uh, also while I have this here, is there more stuff? Z idler carrier. 
Nope, that's the that's the idler. BZI, here we go. BZI micron carrier. 2.4 carrier, 2.4 micron idler. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely the thing that I printed. At least it's easy to get to. Yeah, this thing. So I'll just I'll have to just modify this thing slightly, which wouldn't be that hard to do. We're used to your confusion. That's why we're here. <laughs> Grand Team <Tim> Rebellion. <laughs> uh, yes, it did come with a parts list. All right, it's all good. Let's uh, let's do this, and then before the next one, I will. Ah, uh, that's okay. Now you need to win that film. Yeah, that's right. Um... All right, let's see how many you ended up in here. 43, all right. All right, let's get to it. I'm gonna open the other side here. Let's go to winners. Let's go to draw a winner. We're gonna do one. All right, everybody ready? Uh, let's go like this, repick. All right, United States, answer the question. Announce winners with Avatar. Announce. Boom. A Loaded Clips, familiar name. Uh, loaded Clips, I haven't seen you talking in a little hot minute. But if you're in here. Hey, there he is. Loaded Clips, congratulations. You've won yourself a spool of PLA Plus by 3D Max. Uh... <laughs> All right, cool. Listen up. I don't remember if you won before, but either way, it doesn't matter. I, I'm cool with repeat winners, like I always say. If you guys are in here supporting me, watching the streams, relaxing with me, helping me get my mind straight on all this stuff, it doesn't matter. Uh, listen up, Loaded. Here's what you're going to do. You need to go to the, their website, 3D Max. Uh, his website, you can get there from the link or not. It does not matter. Find yourself a spool of PLA Plus that's in stock. Okay, the carbon fiber one, the nano diamond stuff, that's off limits. So just PLA plus that's in stock, okay? And then go ahead and send me an email to fedor, F-E-D-O-R, okay? F-E-D-O-R at 3dprintsos.com. You can get this email in the about section of my YouTube page, okay? But it's fedor at 3dprintsos.com. Send me an email with your full name, your address, and that choice of filament that's in stock, okay? And the sooner you do that, the sooner I will forward your email to uh, 3D Max, okay? And I'll also forward last week's winner as well. Like I said, they want me to bundle them together, so I haven't sent that for, haven't sent that yet. Uh, let me know in the chat that you got what you need to do. Awesome, yeah, man. Cool, and thank you for your constant support. I know you're always in here watching, chatting, uh, fighting chat off. Uh, you know, I asked him to calm down and I haven't seen him since. I think he got mad at me and left. But I'm not trying to get, I'm not trying to get demonetized up in here. Um, but yeah, everybody, thank you. I know some people are gonna leave right off the bat. Uh, I'm gonna clean up a bit and talk a little bit more. Uh, but on your way out, please hit that like uh, button. It does help the streams quite a bit, especially their replay value, which uh, not a lot of people watch three plus hours, you know, streams uh, in a replay. Uh, so it helps while you guys are here. Um, but yeah, as always, I appreciate the support and I'm really happy that this is one way that I can give back to you guys. Um, yeah. I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, I see my little logo next to your name. Uh, I actually wonder, do you see that on YouTube? Oh yeah, right, if you're a member, uh, if you're a member, I think you get the little badge, right? Yes, right. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, guys, on your way out, also check out shop at 3D Print SOS or store at 3D Print, not at, 
shop.3dprintsos.com or store.3dprintsos.com also for some cool merch if you guys are into that kind of thing as well. Um, but yeah, congrats. Congrats on the win. And we'll do another one. What I wanted to see... Oh, yeah. Uh, Zoomy, I just got the filament in. There, there's a spool right there. So that spool is the only missing part. So I just need to edit that piece and I need to print it. I'll probably end up doing that tomorrow. Yes, that's also true and big fact. Thank you, Frog. Appreciate you being here. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to see how many spools of filament I've given away so far. So according to this, wow, okay, so I have given away 54 uh, spools of filament. Uh, and I'm probably not, there's probably other uh, duplicates. So 54 spools of filament have been given away through live streams on this channel. Uh, and that's not including two years of 60 spools uh, for the uh, contest that we do around Thanksgiving time. So, yeah, Zumi, me too. I'm, I'm, I'm glad it finally arrived, so I'm happy about that. I, I just have to do it. I just have to, I basically have to delete the neck portion out of the two pieces of the shirt. And one spool of filament is the exact amount I need for both of those sides of filament. So I haven't touched the machine at all. It's literally been sitting there idle. So hopefully without doing any updates or anything, I'll be able to just pick up exactly where I left off. I just need to remove that piece and it should be good. Yeah, Reds, uh, no problem. I mean, I, I'm just, like I said, I'm very excited to be in a spot where a company is willing to do this. Uh, you know, and all I'm doing is doing the thing that I would be doing anyway. Uh, so that's obviously really cool. I'm just, I'm, I'm really glad uh, to be able to do that for the folks that come here to support. I think that's pretty neat. Yeah, man, no problem. No problem. I, I'm going to go myself. Uh, my eyes are literally shutting and I still have to clean up and do quite a bit. Um, so I, I definitely feel that. But yeah, before the next stream. So I do have to skip one. So... For the next stream, let's do this. For the next stream, I'm gonna do the Infamec TX, uh, this machine. The Infamec TX is next stream. Uh, then we'll hop back onto the Micron. So hopefully by then, I'll figure out which one of these things I need and also do a haircut. Wow, looks like I have a helmet on my head. Um, so yeah, I'll figure that out. Then we'll fix it, and we'll continue with the with the gantry. Hopefully, that'll go on in a stream. I think I think it's totally doable. And then the, the stream after that would be Toolhead. Stream after that would be Electronics. Stream after that would be Setup. So three four weeks out before Prince. That's a little that's that's a long time, but uh, it should be okay. So basically, every other stream is going to be a machine. So first up is Infamec. Back to this. Then probably the mini combo back to this, and then probably the X combo back to this. And then I'm sure there'll be other machines, although I haven't agreed to any more. Hey, hybrid. We're, the, we're here at the end, but I'm glad you can jump in at the very end at least. Uh, absolutely, Frank, absolutely. Um, all right, so that's the plan. I'm really excited. Take a look at this. Whoops, wrong one. Let's do this one. Take a look at, oh, wrong one. There we go. Let's get this guy out of here. Battery can go. So we have a plan for next time. Uh, I need to continue editing some videos to bring you guys some fun machine content because that's always fun. If you guys do want to see more, by the way, I did a interview, I guess you could say, with the next layer. Uh, it's over on his channel. I actually had a lot of fun on that. I didn't really know what to expect because um, we are like polar opposites in the way that we do work, like the way that we do this same exact thing. Uh, so yeah, I had a lot of fun chatting with Jonathan. So if you guys want to check out that stream, uh, that's over on his side, uh, the info podcast. That was pretty fun. 
Uh, yeah, I, I love the Flying Bear. In fact, in, 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 Infomec is their sister company. So I'm still, you know, very much involved. I think the Flying Bear is going to have to go to somebody uh, local because I can't ship it. Only because I don't want to see this thing collect dust. I do really like it. I printed everything that's in there right now for it. There's a box of MKS components in there. There's so much for it. Like I, you know, it has everything it needs to make this thing into a Voron. Uh, well, into, into having Voron parts. So I think that has to go to somebody local um, just so that they can enjoy it because unfortunately it's just sitting here and I just, I hate to see that. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to put the Delta here so it's not back there. Uh, and then we'll just, we'll tackle it that way. I think I have to, I have to go through some of these machines, but I, I love it. And I, I really do wish that I could have done more with it in the time that I had it. I had so many plans, but I got to keep moving forward. Um, and I would still recommend that machine quite a bit. And I, I, I'm still a part of the community uh, that I guess in some way, shape or form, I helped push a little bit. Uh, but yeah. Huh. I was hoping that you could ship it to Norway. <laughs> hey, nice. That's cool. Yeah, I'll have to catch that. That's great. <laughs> I never live near creators giving printers away. Uh, maybe, maybe sometime soon. <laughs> All right. All right, everybody. I'm going to call it here. Uh, like I said, I'm still pretty satisfied with the things that we got done. Uh, these things are cool. Everything is just waiting and ready for me. And this thing is going to be flying and slinging very soon. Then that flying bear to me, I guarantee you will not collect dust. I mean, the, the problem is just the sheer size and taking it apart uh, would be quite an endeavor. Um, I actually have to take apart another machine somebody messaged me about. Uh, and I just, I completely forgot to be honest. So I have to apologize to them. I've just been too busy. All right, everybody with that, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to call it on your way out. Please hit that like, like I mentioned, uh, thank you all for being here as always. I really appreciate it. Um, all right. Thank you all and have a great night. I'll catch you guys in the next video in the next live stream. Uh, I'm only a couple days out of finishing the next video. So Patreon members and YouTube members will see it early for a full day at least. And then we're going to go ahead and launch it. So look for that probably next week. Yeah. Ne early next week is probably the next video. Um, all right. With that, I'm out. All right, everybody. Thank you all again. See ya. Let's do our outro.